Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I know I'm probably gonna add the car wash and whatever before this, but as you can probably tell from the title, um, some kind of concerning news about my paint. Um, and I'll try and get some pictures, videos up close, um, you know, after, after I talk to you guys about it. Um, I know I had mentioned in a previous video that I was planning on repainting the car potentially um, it's looking more and more like I'm gonna need to do that but with rebuilding the front end, front end as a whole I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to afford it this fall um, I have other things that I need to save for that are kind of more important than this right now um, so the paint is in pretty dire condition in my opinion um, I think I may have made it worse um, about, I'd say about a week ago. Um, I'd wash my car like normal. Um, I don't know if it's because it was at a different time of a day or whatnot, but normally I just let my car, uh, my car air dry and I know that's not the best, but I've never had problems with it um, until this week where there was some pretty bad uh, water spots all over the place and I just haven't had the time to try and wash it and fix it um, so that's kind of what earlier in the video was uh, was me trying to fix fix all those water spots all over the place make it look better um, and you know things just it, it sort of cleaned up they're not as bad um, but you can still see them in there and I know there's products that gets rid of them and a bird just shat on my car that I just cleaned. Uh, anyways, um, there's products, I know like Chemical Guys makes a product to help clean, uh, get rid of water spots and whatnot. What was more concerning to me is while I was actually washing the car, um, I know the mitt I used was clean. Um, I, there was nothing wrong with it or anything. Um, but as I was washing the car, it almost felt gritty. Um, I don't know if that was because of the water spots or what was wrong. But for the first time since I've started washing my car, I actually dried it with a towel. Um, at least what I had in what I had on hand. And the paint just looked really dull. Um, and I'll try and get that on picture on camera later. But it just looked really dull, and I know there's always been scratches in the paint, swirl marks. Um, you know, the paint's been chipping a lot, and the front bumper is a whole nother mess. It's getting even worse, even since last video. Um, I'll kind of, kind of try and show you later. Um, it's got a huge crack in it in a completely different location now. Um, not as big as the original one, but it, it's definitely there. Um, so I definitely need to do the front end, replace it. I don't want to paint it if I'm going to paint the whole car later on. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of weighing my options on there. Uh, I may place, uh, post a poll as to what to do. I may just get cheap spray paint and spray the front bumper and whatnot. Um, or I'll try wrapping the car myself. Um, but judging on how tinting my windows went, uh, I don't know if you can see over there, 
I'm not too uh, confident in my abilities to do that. Uh, I know it's a little bit easier, in quotes. Um, at least it seems like it would be. You have all the body lines that you can use, but I'm not, I'm not trying to say that it's easy. Anyone can do it. Um, obviously, I know from experience, not just anybody can do stuff like window tint. Um, I can't imagine wrapping a car, but at least you don't have to tuck it like in the seals. Um, that's the only thing I can think that might be easier. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of the state of things right now is I don't know what to do because I really want to replace my front bumper because I'm honestly kind of concerned of it flying off at this point um, because it's not completely held in very securely and it's cracking and I just feel like a chunk of it's going to fly off it someday. But I just don't want to have like a two-tone black or primered or whatever front bumper and then a crappily painted red car the rest of it. Um, I'm very happy on how it is in terms of performance. Um, some good news, I got an uh, EcuTech, ECU Tech, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, I got one of their kits. I need to get a license key because I didn't I didn't realize you needed a license key to and the specific kit I got didn't come with one. Um, so I'll be I'll be getting that soon. Um, with what I could with their Bluetooth dongle when I connected it to my phone, I figured out that the vehicle has been tuned by an Ecutech tuner before. Uh, it has their race flash, I believe is what it's called, uh, race flash on it. Uh, but it's an old version that doesn't support like the phone connect special feature BRZ package, whatever it's called. Um, where you can get, uh, where you can do a bunch of like cool stuff. The only thing I can do is put it in pedal dance mode uh, for my phone. But there's other things you can program. I just gotta get an updated flash on there. So what I'm planning to do is potentially buy myself when I get the the license key for the software is try and update it manually myself. Um, obviously I'm going to back it up, do all the proper channels. I know nothing about tuning. I'm not even going to attempt to try and tune it myself. And then later on in the road, probably next year sometime, um, is I'm going to go ahead and get it tuned. I'm looking at a few places that do remo uh, remote tuning because the closest like dyno physical tuner near me is in Atlanta and I don't want to drive all the way over there just for you know, drive there, spend however much money on gas, six, seven, eight hundred dollar tune, whatever it costs. Um, there's some good news, uh, potentially, if that plan gets rolling along. Um, it may need to happen sooner. Uh, I think I've mentioned this before, I can't remember exactly. Um, there is some kind of it seemed like there was play in the turbo, um, the turbine shaft, when I had it off at one point trying to fix something that ended up as a failure, but besides the point, I think I felt play in the turbo uh, turbine shaft, and obviously that's concerning. I didn't see any damage to the, the blades, so I don't know how much longer it has. Um, I don't know if there's, you know, a good, or you know an okay amount of play in it um so i may have to get a new turbo if i do that then i'm definitely going to get it retuned um that'll probably cost just as much as a paint job so paint job might be shifted way further into the future um which means i may have to end up trying to wrap my car myself so that'll be an adventure um, once again, I'll put a pull up on that um, on my website, so make sure you guys go check that out. But I'm going to just drive for a bit, probably head home. I think I'm going to end the recording here, um, get some videos of the paint to show you. But I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, enjoy. Enjoy the rest of your day.
and I'll catch you guys in the next one. First off, the sunset. Second of all, here's that new pretty crack I found. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. That definitely looks like Bondo. That's an actual crack, but I don't know how you can see the paint, um, all the watermarks on it. I think that's actually just from a bad drying job. So maybe it's not that bad.